Hey there, everyone! Welcome back to Final Fantasy IX! Wow, you know, I had a realization. This LP has been going for three months. Literally three months. I, I, yeah, yeah, it was August 16th. This has been going for three months, and I'm still not past disc one. I'm sorry, guys. For everybody who's been watching the Final Fantasy IX LP, I just want to say right now, I'm sorry. Like, I, I didn't even realize <laughs> that it had been that long. You know, it's like for a while, I'm going to go ahead and go into Burmesia. Yeah, it's like, you know, I I think I might have cut there a bit. Um, It's like, you know, it's like um, for a while I got very focused on finishing The Legend of Dragoon, and then after that, it's like, you know, more LPs kept popping up, and I kept putting a lot of focus on them, you know, like the Sandman and the Crooked Man, and <laughs> I, I know I'm making excuses, like, but but seriously, like, yeah. I, I'm, I'm sorry that it has been delayed so badly. Like, when, when I thought that this, had, you know, it's like when I realized that this has been going for three months and that I'm, like, not even past, like, the first disc, quote-unquote. I was like, yeah, you know what? It, it's time to finally uh, sit down and actually make some solid progress on Final Fantasy IX. So, yeah, I, I'm going to focus on Final Fantasy IX exclusively for a while. You know, since I don't currently have any other LBs in progress anyway. With the exception of Resident Evil 6, but, you know, that's something I'm doing together with Spirit. Meaning I can only, you know, record that when Spirit is around to co-op it. So that's just a whenever it's, you know, possible. Also, my controller was being stupid again there. Yeah, I'm just going to use the D-pad. I'm not going to use the analog stick. The D-pad works okay. Now, if we look right here, we will find... Oh. That, that, that is a person. It's actually right here. Cancer. No, not that kind of cancer. It's the Stelazio. So yeah, now we have the Ares and the Cancer Stelazios. And I don't think there's anything else on this screen. I'm still not entirely used to exclamations popping up to, like, you know, talk to people. Or in this case, corpses. Like, when running around in the environment, it's like, you know, you used to, that would only mean that there was, like, something you could interact with, or you found an item lying around. Well, time to fight some more Black Mages. Easy pickings. Oh, by the way, um, I totally should have gotten a yellow scarf synthesized back in Lindablum. I, I, I totally, like, could have and should have done that at some point. Like, I, I believe it needed a steepled hat. Like, I probably should have used a steepled hat to make one of those, because, um, that, if you equip that on Queena, then Queena can use the Millionaire ability, which gives you extra gil. You know, it, it increases the amount of gill you can earn from a battle, so it's really, really good to get that early. And for some reason, it's like, I was thinking that I got that from the, uh... What was it, the Cotton Robe? What, whatever we got from that Chocobo hot and cold treasure chest. I know I have it equipped on Queena right now. Ah, the Magician Robe. Let's give me one sec. Ah, there we go. All right. Now beware of some of the chests um, in this place. 
Okay, those chests were okay, but... Yeah, not all chests in this uh, dungeon are safe. Can you really call it a dungeon, though? I mean, it's a town, but, you know, it's technically a dungeon, because, you know, enemies and stuff. Pretty much anything that's a dangerous location filled with enemies and stuff for you to fight, you know, uh, that, that's a dungeon in an RPG. Now, I believe this chest... Ah, yes. The first mimic of the game. What is this thing? Uh, magic vice. Okay. I'm gonna try to eat that. You know, when it comes to RPGs, mimics tend to range from, you know, being either one of the deadliest enemies you can encounter, or one of the easiest. And in this game's case, well, oh good, we learned Magic Hammer. Yeah, in the, in the case of the Final Fantasy IX mimics, they are really easy. Probably some of the least threatening mimics of any game I've ever seen. Or played. The only annoying thing about them is they like to call in magic vices. But they're not a problem at all, as you can see. Also, I don't think you can eat the mimics. I'm also not sure if I've ever actually tried. I don't think you can. I'll try it next time we fight a mimic. Now this bell, or this bell. Um, th this door here is locked. So we're gonna need to do something about that. Now, here is a missable. See, um, th this part of the balcony that I am standing on right here is actually weak, and it will fall if you try to run across it, so walk across this. Yeah. <laughs> you actually have to run across it to make it fall, so it'll bridge the gap down there, but if you do it before getting that chest, then you can never open that chest. Not that Germinius boots are, you know, actually a, like, you know, unique item or anything that's terrible to miss, but still. By the way, I cannot believe I haven't mentioned it yet, but love the music in this place. I would say Bermesia probably has one of the best atmospheres out of any dungeon in this game. I say one of because there, there are um, other dungeons in the game that have, well, quite the atmosphere to them, as you'll see. Also, um, Vivi, please kill these things before we petrify. Oh wait, give me one sec. Oh yeah, hey, that's a yeah, hey, that's a mimic. Hey, give me one sec. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I don't think you can eat mimics, but whatever. Let's go ahead and give it a try. Honestly, I like Oh. Oh, whoops. 
I, I'm sorry, I did not mean to turn that on. Hold on. Oh, you might notice those little icons popping up down there. Oh, what the heck? Hold on. Okay, there. Um, yeah. I, what the heck? Wait, why, why is it going auto? What? what? Oh my, my controller is freaking out. What is going on here? This is, this is nuts. What is this? How do I... Okay, well, um, we're, we're, we're not gonna be eating this mimic, guys. <laughs> Um... Oh, wait, wait, that's right trigger that causes auto? Okay. Um, if you guys are wondering what just happened, I just accidentally activated the, uh, cheats. Um, the, the, there's a cheat that, um, it, it makes everybody trance automatically. It's in the Steam version, and I assume in the PS4 version as well. See, um, when the game is paused, they are linked to uh, the trigger buttons, so... Yeah, I hit one of the triggers by mistake, and I didn't realize that it activated. Now, hold on. There. Okay, I don't even know what that was. I think that was... Actually, wait, what is this one? That's... I think that's No Encounters... This, this, that, that, that is fast forward. That, I think that is full trance gauges. And um, that one right there, that one makes ev all of your attacks do 9,999 damage. Now, I don't like what just happened, so I am going to quit to the title screen for a moment here. Continue. And see, there we go. See, the autosave came in very handy. Anyway, let's try this again. <laughs> have I even... Have I even talked about the Steam version cheats before now? I, I don't... Don't think I have. Maybe I did back at the start. Oh yeah, I probably mentioned that Spirit's um, LP was done using the cheats. Okay, let's see if we can eat the Mimic. Actually, that, that's kind of funny because, you know, the Mimic tries to eat us. Okay, yeah, you can't eat Mimics. I didn't think so. Also, did, did the magic vice steal something from me? I actually did not notice. <laughs> eh, probably nothing important. Watch, when I'm watching the footage, I'm pr it's, it's probably gonna say that it stole an elixir from me or something. That would suck. But, whatever. Um, as I was trying to say, though, um, I actually really like rain. Like, I don't know, some people find rain gloomy, but most of the time, I, I find rain to be a pretty relaxing atmosphere. It's a good atmosphere for, like, you know, thinking and reflecting on things and clearing your mind and, you know, stuff like that. So... You know, if Bermesia wasn't war-torn and, you know, everybody was dead... Well, not if everybody was dead, you know what I mean. Like, if Bermesia wasn't a war-torn city and if everybody was alright and, you know, everybody wasn't dead... It'd be a pretty darn nice place to visit. I mean, they say, it's, you know, it's the realm of eternal rain, so I guess it never stops raining here. How this entire, uh, region of 
you know, how this entire region of the Mist Continent hasn't, um, completely flooded, I have no idea. In fact, I never really thought about that until now. Vivi owns once he gets his, uh, Tier 2 spells. Okay, so after we talk to the soldier there, we can, uh, check under the bed. Protection Bell! Now that will open the gate that we saw a little ways back. There's a lot of going back and forth for this part in order to get things done. Let's ring the bell right here. And now we can move on. You know, half the party members in this game aren't human anyway. Yeah, see, exactly! Well, that's not exactly what I was saying, but, you know. Like, it's not like, you know, not being human in Final Fantasy IX is necessarily a bad thing. Though I do get what he means. It's, it's, it's probably more along the lines of, like, it's not really like, what if I'm not human? It's more like, what if I'm really a monster or something like that, probably. Like, I understand what he means. You know, it's a fear of not knowing or understanding what you are. Nope, we're fighting to the end. I'm not entirely certain if you have to come in here and view this, but I always do. I think maybe you do.
see when it falls. I, I think it clears a path for you. Otherwise, I don't think you'll be able to get through up there. Because I think, like, the sword might be blocking a path or something. And I don't think there's anything in here to find. I think there would be, but there's not. That's a dead end. Wait, or is it? I mean, I know it's a dead end, but are there items? No, there's not. All them little invisible items you can find all around this game. Let's go ahead and end this quickly. Oops, that happened again. Thankfully, that was just auto. It, my, my right trigger is, like, triggering automatically, I think. It's not good. See, I knew that was a mimic, but, you know, let's kill it anyway. No, you don't. Oh. I guess you literally don't. So here we finally get a new weapon for Freya. Poor Vivi's really got it rough. Oh hey, we're about to learn Dragon Killer, and the Mithril Spear teaches Raise Wind. Well, obviously we're gonna finish learning Dragon Killer before we equip that. Now before you charge up those steps, make sure you check this door over here. Cause Moogle! Yes, this is Atla. Who's Atla? Well, we've had a letter for, for, for him, I think. Quite a while.
Well, Atla, today might just be your lucky day. Yeah, sure, in a second. Okay, yeah, we need to finish learning Blizzara. You know, I think I am going to call it Blizzara, because that's what I always said, you know, all my life. Okay, oh, well, yeah, first let's uh, buy some stuff from Stiltskin here. I'm pretty sure that you do, like, if you want Stiltskin to show up at the next location that he can show up at, you have to buy his stuff. You know, before moving on from the location that he shows up at. Now, you might have saw that um, we got another Koopo nut. Well, we can actually take those back to the Moogle couple back in Gizmaluk's Grotto. And if you bring enough to them, if you bring enough of the Koopo nuts to them, you get something. So, I, I, I'm going to... Yeah, like, I'll be doing that, so... Well, let's go back to the Grotto real quickly. Hey, I don't think I encountered this enemy before, did I? You know, I probably should have tried eating that. Ah, whatever. There we go. I don't think I've ever done this entire uh, Koopo Nut side quest more than once. But yeah, basically, um, the more Koopo Nuts you bring to them, the more the more rewards you'll get. And I think the way it works is if you don't have a Koopo Nut with you, then whenever you deliver a letter to a Moogle, they will always give you a Koopo Nut in return, because you can only have one in your inventory at a time. So if you want to do the quest properly, you have to, like, you know, bring a Koopo Nut to them, like, as soon as possible once you get one. over. No, actually, no, let's not do that just yet. Now, you might have noticed there was something different here. Um, this Moogle has Mog Shop, which, well, it's a Moogle Shop. And, yeah, we can buy some new stuff here. Oh wait, I oh wait, I have five of those things. Buy two of those. The other one would be for Steiner. Oh wait, no, I need to really look at my stock before buying stuff. Um let's buy one of those. You know, just in case I need them for synthesis, you never know. Definitely not going to buy another Needle Fork. I don't need that. Okay, let's go over our equipment. Uh, 
Let's go ahead and equip that on him. Not really a lot of new abilities we can learn. Learn, uh, add status for Freya. With the needle fork. See, the thing about uh, Queenus fork weapons is they all teach high tide, which is a good thing considering that thing takes a ridiculous amount of AP to learn. Hmm, actually, wait. Can the coral ring teach anybody else anything new? Ah, okay. So let's go ahead and get started learning that stuff for Zidane. Alright, I think that is set up done for now. Let's go ahead and use a tent. 